Hi guys, postman's bin, two packages. This one I've felt, and I reckon that's some more All Star uh, receivers, hobby grade receivers. Uh, although some people call them by a different name, which I can't remember at the moment. And this, it actually says, um, hang on. It says video recorder on it. I'm pretty sure it's a test probe. Initially, I thought it was another model aeroplane that I've ordered, but it's not big enough for that. So I think this could be the test probe that um, Bill Power keeps asking me about. Because he knows I ordered one and he wanted to know when it was arriving. And I said, well, I've ordered it on... In this case, AliExpress, I think. So it takes quite a while to arrive from China. Yeah, it's the right shape for what we're talking about. No, it's the aeroplane. <laughs> right, okay, it's a little um, supercapacitor-powered aeroplane. All oh, right. Oh, well, in that case, it's not what Bill Power's waiting to see. I just ordered this on a whim because it was cheap. Uh, I do have quite a few supercapacitor videos or aeroplane videos that I've done in the past. And I was looking for something completely different on AliExpress and spotted these. There is quite a few different designs available on AliExpress. I just like the shape of this one. That's got to fit in there. I won't force it just now, but that will fit in there. Yeah, looks like it might need rounding off a bit on the edges there. Or just pushing harder. Oh yeah, just push it a bit harder. <laughs> oh, what a little tiddler. Tiny. And there we are, fully assembled. It's supposed to be quite flexible. So it bounces when it hits the ground. Need some double A batteries in there. Three. I could look in there to see if there's any sort of protection circuit, but I strongly doubt it. I just think it's just three double A batteries, four and a half volts. And you stick that in there. And the ones that I've done in the past, you listen to the motor as it speeds up as the supercapacitor charges up. And when it doesn't speed up anymore, you throw it. I think it in the instructions, no instructions here, but in the listing instructions, there was a certain amount of time to do it for. But that was the guide I, I used to use, just listen to the motor speeding up and if it doesn't go any faster, there's no point in charging it for any longer. Hmm, I wonder if that'll fly. We've just been out flying. That thing. Right, the other package. So I'm pretty sure this is All Star Receivers, which, as I say, other people know by a different name. One, two, three, four. That should help, because I keep having to swap receivers from one car to another. Because I haven't got enough. No delivery details in there or anything. Okay, well, there'll be... 
details in the video description. I don't put links, direct links, I just give you the description and you can copy and paste it into your uh, online store and see what it comes up with. Hi guys, in my post bag video I showed you I've just got this super capacitor powered plane arrived in the post. Pretty cheap, but I've put some batteries in there so we can see how it works. Now the ones I've used in the past, you plug that in, listen to the motor note as it charges the supercapacitor, and when the motor won't go any faster, the supercapacitor must be fully charged. I don't know if this is different, we'll find out. Okay, nothing at the moment. But is it charging the supercapacitor? There might be a brake switch in the socket there, so it disconnects the motor while you're charging it. Yeah, that's what that one does. So clearly I'll have to go and read the instructions. There's no instructions in the box. I'll have to go and have a look at the listing. I seem to remember it says something about how many seconds you have to hold it in there to charge it first. And gives you dire warnings about trying to charge it for too long. Okay, so that's a slightly more technical version than the ones that I've made myself. As I say, I just plug them in. It actually runs the motor at the same time as charging the supercapacitor. You leave it running until, until the motor doesn't sound like it's going to go any faster, which means the supercapacitor is fully charged. Then you whip it off charge and throw it. Yeah, I'll have to read the instructions and then I'll probably write something on there how many seconds I've got to leave it charging before we throw it. It also depends on how um, fresh your batteries are because if they're not absolutely fresh you don't get half as much um, current flow into the supercapacitor. While we're looking at it, if we look along here you can see it's Got a bit of a bend in the body there. It is very flexible. So I might be able to just hold it to straighten that out. Although we do actually want it to turn when it's flying. We don't want it to go in a straight line. We want it to circle nicely. Circle up and circle down. Yeah, looking forward to trying that one out. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.